here. It's Sunday, and so I'm watching this black play on BET. Now, y'all know I don't do BET. I don't do BET. I don't do BET. But for some reason, I was just turning, and I was, and I got captivated by this black play. First of all, why is every black play about the same thing? Why is every black play about a woman, a black woman who was married and has like a teenage child or whatever, whatever and the husband cheats on her and abandon, and leaves the family for another woman, then she gets blamed by every single person in the cast for the husband leaving. Then the son is acting up, and then she finds a new man and she finds God and everything's okay and she gets back with the husband. To me, that is sexist like a motherfucker. I don't see, I don't understand what black people are trying to say. But women, if I was a black woman, I'd be mad from watching those plays, y'all. I don't understand why y'all like those plays. I don't get it. I don't get it. But that's neither here nor there. This is not what I'm here to talk about. Actually, I'm dressed like this because I'm supposed to be doing a Why I Don't Do video that I'm going to post on Monday. But um, I decided to do this video today because... It's really something I really want to talk about. And it's, it's not going to take that long. I don't understand people. When I say people, I mean fellow YouTubers. I'm not talking about one specific YouTuber. I'm not talking about 80 YouTubers. I'm talking about there's a certain group of YouTubers on here that I've seen that ask people for money. And, and, you know, I don't want people to take offense to this. If this means you, I'm sorry, but this is my opinion. You do you, you still, you did you anyway. I mean, but this is my fucking opinion. In my opinion, that is so fucking classless and tacky and unclassy to sit here on YouTube and beg your following for money. I think it's unclassy. I do. Now, Big Zo, people be like, Big Zo. Why are you worried about what they're doing? I'm really not worried about what the fuck they're doing. What I'm saying is this. As a fan, you know, of certain people. Like there was this one girl I watched. I used to watch all the time. There was this chick I used to watch all the time. And let's say it was like last year. She really turned me off because she was on YouTube begging for money to help her pay rent. Um, in her current situation, asking them for help because she's down on her luck and all that shit. Here's the thing, um, you are a capable woman to go out and get a fucking job and do your own shit. The fact that you are taking advantage of your fans and your following, I won't even say fans because I don't even consider you guys fans. I consider you guys following me and you like what I have to say and I appreciate that, but they're not, they're, you know, you're not fans. I don't consider you fans. To say that you're fans, me, me, I'm interpreting that I have some type of standing or some type of stature, stature. No, I don't. I'm just a regular guy with a job who's an aspiring writer who is aspiring to do a lot of things. I'm a regular person that just does videos and some of you guys like it. Now, I don't have a huge following. I don't have 40,000 views and I prefer it to be that way. Hell, I hardly get... 500 views now. I prefer it to be like that. I really do because I don't feel like I have. I don't feel like I have to impress people. I don't feel like I have to go out of my way to make sure I keep that following. So for me, this is this is this is key. I like that I have a few people who watch me consistently and constantly, and I love you guys very much. I would never take advantage of you, ever. Okay. To sit here on YouTube and ask people for money to help with your situation or ask people for donations or handouts or, you know, to submit things to you so you can get going to where you're, you know, get to what you want to do or to, um, I don't know. And I, I know somebody's going to get offended by this, but I just, I have to, it's my opinion. I have to say it. I just feel like it, it's just very, very tat. It's just, like, if you could see yourself doing it, if you could take yourself out of your status right now, if you could take yourself out of the seat of being a YouTube person and just be a regular person and look at yourself doing that, you probably would feel the same way. Like, it's horrible. Like, how the fuck could you, do, how dare you? How fucking dare you sit there 
and ask these people, oh, you know, here's my fucking um, P.O. box, and I just want you to, um, on my PayPal, just donate money to me, and, you know, help me out, and, you know, if you love your boy, help me out. I even saw one YouTuber sit there and have the audacity to say that, and this YouTuber had merchandise. They had shirts, they had cups, they had keychains. And I sit there and say, if you don't support me by buying my shit, I'm not going to do videos anymore, because why would I support you if you don't support me? Who the fuck are you? Nobody asked any of you, any of you, to get on camera and do what you're doing. Nobody asked any of you to do that. Nobody asked any of you to share your talent with the world. You decide to share your talent. That's your dream. And you would be... It would be... They're doing a service to you by watching you, by, by supporting you, by putting you out there, by sharing your vids with other people. So for y'all to sit on here and say that I'm giving y'all entertainment, so why don't you... So I, and it's for free. Why don't you pay me? Bitch, that, to me, that that's tacky. That is so fucking tacky, and I don't like that shit. And a lot of people lost a lot of respect when they did that, when you did that. Now, it's one thing to have merchandise. It's one thing to have songs on iTunes. It's one thing to have um, albums. It's one thing to have a store, a merchandise uh, online store, and people are buying it, and you say, okay, you guys, I really, you know, I really appreciate it. You guys support me, and yeah, yeah, yeah. That's different. But to sit here on here and say, Oh, you need to, you know, give me money. Or if you're not going to support me, I'm not going to get on here anymore. Or, oh, I'm not getting no coins for doing this, so fuck it. You tried it. You really tried it. It's so fucking low to sit here and beg. And you have some people, some YouTubers, and I'm not, and God bless them, because they, they probably are going through a hard time. But you're begging and screaming on pleading on, on YouTube for money to help you with a certain situation like this. To help you uh, get your son out of jail. Or to help... <laughs> this is not funny. I'm sorry. Or to help you... Um, I don't know. To help you pay your tuition bills. Look. I, this is the thing. You could be lying. I'm not calling you liars. I don't know you. Your YouTube followers don't really know you like that. They only know what you tell them, but they don't know. This. They don't know you. Like for real, they don't know what you're going through. They don't know what if you really need help getting your son out of prison, or if you really need help with tuition. They don't even know if you go to college classes. You know what I'm saying? So for you to take advantage of them, and for them to be sweet enough and kind enough to give you money like that, to me, is a fucking disgrace. It is a disgrace to come on YouTube and use your standing to beg for fucking money. It is. And I don't, I don't like it. I don't know. You know, you guys could comment on it. You know, this video doesn't really have to have a lot of comments. It really doesn't. I mean, it's just something that really irked me. I had to get it off my chest. Um, I really did. It just, I don't like people who do that. I don't like people who do that. I don't like people who take advantage of their, um, their their fan base or their, as I said, their following base. Don't, you don't take advantage of your fucking following base. I don't appreciate that. I don't like that at all. So, yeah, that's about it. Anyway, I'm, this is Pixel 20, you guys. I'm going to post up um, on Monday a video of why I don't do something. <laughs> and it's going to be why I don't do clubs because you know I went to the club last night and as I said. So, um, a mess. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to post that up on Monday, and I'm also going to post up a recap of Real Housewives of Atlanta this season. I know you guys have been wanting me to talk about what I feel about some of the girls this season and what I feel about what's going on, and I'm going to do that after tonight's episode. So, love you guys. Peace. <laughs>